So I'm gonna make some hollandaise sauce, and then after that we'll get into poaching a couple eggs. But it should be it should be a good video. Um, I've done a lot of this before. I know I make real simple eggs most of the time, uh, but realistically, oh, oh yeah, we just want the yolks for the hollandaise. We're gonna start with that first. Just a big old pain in the ass. I really should have gotten two bowls or done this over the sink. Hmm. Hold on. Our yolks separated from the whites. Hollandaise is really pretty easy for the most part. So we can do a little, a little heavy cream. That's fine. Um, a lot of it's just melting butter and being pretty careful about that. Um, I got a lime. Y'all will be happy to know I bought I bought some knives. They're sharp. Uh. I definitely didn't steal these from a steakhouse. Good. Some people use lemon. I think my mom always used lemon when she made hollandaise. I just don't think it's too big of a deal. I think we only need about half of this boy in here. lime in there. I'm never using lime for anything else. Alright, now we're just gonna melt down about half a stick of butter. I really want to add some salt and pepper. It's kind of hard to do that one handed though. I kind of recovered a little bit though. I think I probably got just one second. eggs the hollandaise turned out pretty good good consistency so uh, I can give you several minutes of me boiling water but we're literally just gonna bring this to a full boil add a little vinegar pop the eggs in I'll check on you when I'm about ready to drop the eggs in well it's pretty much a full boil so we're gonna add a splash of vinegar you can measure cup it or whatever I don't know there's probably some kind of instruction but you just there we go Nothing to it. <clears throat> We're gonna do that quick stir. We're gonna lower it down to a simmer.
That's pretty nice. I like getting a little vortex going, you know, you get a little stir going on here. Oh yeah. So keep that. That's pretty good. He's gonna let it chill for a few. If I wasn't nervous about messing this up, I'd do two of them at once. But I'm gonna be honest, I don't wanna mess it up. Not in front of you guys, not today. I had to buy a toaster for this. I can get a nice one. Literal trash. I think it was ten dollars. I'm actually shocked they make toasters this cheap. I also forgot to get meat. I'm not gonna say I forgot it. I have a pile of ham in my freezer. A literal pile of it. It's insane. I just didn't thought. So this is going to be an eggy eggs benedict? I don't really know because there's no meat. Sometimes you get Canadian bacon, you get a little ham going. Salt there. Do some real waspy shit and a little paprika on this, dude. Ah, oh. eggs Benedict, but yeah, I forgot to do some other shit with it. I'll give it a rip. See how I did. Yeah, it's fucking, fucking perfect. Mm. Thank you for suggesting this. Uh, like and subscribe.